Good, because it didn't get caught. <laughs> All right. Um, please uh, hold comments until a select board chairman, me, opens the agenda items for public comment. When addressing the board, state your full name, both in person and on Zoom. It is suggested that you enter your full name as your ID on Zoom. Uh, I will take a uh, motion to approve the minutes of September 3. So moved. Second. All in favor. Uh, no appointments or recognitions. Consent agenda. Department reports public works to 2025 preliminary state valuation report. Otter Creek Cemetery Association letter and minutes of July 31, 2024. Third party funding thank you letters, Down East Community Partners, Down East Horizons, Island Connections. Mount Desert Nursing Association. So accepted with the consent agenda as presented. Second. Good. Any discussion? Anyone want to pull anything out? Okay. All in favor? Thank you. Any select board reports? Mark. I have two things. First, I want to thank the um, police department and the neighborhood house for a wonderful picnic. That was really a nice event. A lot of, I was afraid no one would come. They were afraid no one would come, but there was a nice crowd and it was a very pleasant, oh, nice. pleasant event. Um, also, um, I don't know if all the selectmen had time to read the um, article from the main monitor, but um, I, I would ask Durland to speak to that. It's an area that we've, we've been involved in as a town and which uh, concerns me very much. Yeah, well, I know after reading the article, I called Kathy Miller and I was concerned uh, about what impact that article might have. And I was also concerned about a couple of the items in there where it talked about compromises on the Hill Way project. And I know I had had a conversation with a member of the, of the board a week or two ago, and they had told me that they had perhaps were considering reprioritizing the order of which some of those projects were done. But I did not get any indication, or at least I didn't pick up. If they did give me the indication, I didn't pick up on it that perhaps that there was going to be some sort of an adjustment to the um, uh, project itself by board members. And the, what I think I was most concerned about is, is that there was also talk about in exchange, that they would be, the plaintiffs would be willing to drop the lawsuit. And I just didn't think to myself, well, why would you, Want, why would we want that lawsuit dropped at this point? Because we've already spent most of the money that we're going to expend on that project already. And the chances of a, of a win are very high. I mean, well, you, you never say impossible, but the odds are very strongly in our favor that we would win that case. So why would we want it dropped? Because we would want that scene to a conclusion to show that yes, that this project is viable and this project is constitutional, this project is, we know the project is needed. So I want to, uh, you know, I'm really concerned about that, what type of a, a thing would happen because you know uh, better than I that we have not only sweat equity in that by changing the ordinances to, to accommodate that project, but we've also invested a good deal of money defending the planning board's decision. And so we certainly wouldn't want that to uh, to go away. I think we would want that on the record that this project is viable and this project is legal. And if, and if the case were dropped, then they could always say, well, you know, we won't know. So I, I think that's a, a horrible thing to yeah, do. So we won. We won. It's just I, an appeal, yeah. but it's unlikely yeah. to get overturned. So my question is, uh, is this one of those situations where the uh, party that loses pays the legal fees? That could be. I, you know, we haven't got to that. We think very easily could have to pay those. Yeah. Those legal but fees. I don't think it's that. But, that but, money that's yeah, that's but, causing this. It's it, it, they, yeah. it's an attempt to 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 derail the whole project. So I I asked Kathy if I could have the courtesy of a hearing before the board. 
um, MD365 in order to be able to clarify the accuracy of that particular article. And indeed, was there any idea going forward to modify that project? You know, uh, because I think, you know, depending on the situation, they obviously may reprioritize what it built. They, as you know, they've got three proposals. They have Summit Road, Main Street Apartments, and that. So as money comes in, they might possibly decide to take some of that money and build the first two beds. But I want to make sure that there isn't a back down in the commitment to see that that Hillway project is built as sponsored. Because we've got a you know, we we did some rather unorthodox things, Martha. I mean, you put your name and John and maybe a couple of others put their name on a petition. I put my name on a petition, which is, which is you know which is highly unusual, you know, for either select boards or administrators to do. So I think we we feel pretty strongly invested in that project, and we put our our names out on there. And I, I think there's a, perhaps a reiteration of the board that you'd like me to go. To that meeting, and you would like me to ask those questions. I, that would be great on my part, so people can't say that I'm just going up there on my own without any sort of authorization from uh, the yeah. you know elected officials of the town. Well, I think it'd be more than an authorization. I think it'd be almost like a directive, because I, I mean, from my perspective, well, I think that it's. I mean, the money is obviously something to consider, but it's more the principle of the whole thing. Yeah, and. Yeah. We're we're you know we're in the right. I think the day that the MDI three sixty five is in the right, Absolutely. and then so far the courts have agreed. Yes. And so why would you no? Know, yeah, we you can't cave. Basically, if we do that right now, if we really if they re withdraw that suit, if what it's doing is snatching victory or defeat from the jaws of victory is basically what it's doing. You know, so yeah. I think do you know when that meeting was? The MD365. I, I was told that they only want girl and okay. so I, I asked Kat, I said I'd be happy to go, and she said they didn't want any more. Okay. But, so just but I will report we have yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd like you to authorize me to go up there because Absolutely. proxy was above and beyond my pay grade to say that I wanted that meeting without asking you first, but I was so so uh uh, aghast at, at, at the tenure of, of when they were starting, some of those people that were uh, suing us were talking about that they'd reached a compromise or it sounded like, eh, you've yeah. got to straighten this out. What, what are we talking about here? So, I'm, so again, my apologies perhaps for going in over my head on, on asking for that meeting, but I thought it was very important and I knew we had the meeting here tonight. So if uh, we could make sure you were informed about it, so if you said don't go, then it obviously wouldn't go. So well, I I would move that you you go to the meeting and that we direct you to go to the meeting and that you um, convey our enthusiasm for the Healway project and our sincere desire to see it manifested as it's been approved by the planning right. board. Right. I would second that. Toward an outcome and definitive decision by the court yes as to exactly what the parameters of that decision yeah. is going to be yeah and could, could i also say that the board would not be happy to see that uh, that pro that uh, proposal scaled back I, I, you can certainly say that yeah i, I would yes. say 100 yes. percent. the way we went through i mean we went over and over and over that stuff yeah well, and we yeah, still talk about the need for yeah. year-round housing yeah. like and we still support that 100 percent. so yeah. it would make no sense to move backwards in this at all so yeah i know you know here's the interesting thing and it's really an example of how hollowed out our village here has become is that when i was growing up in the village if you took a proposal to add 12 apartments six houses and uh or eight houses and 12 apartments is what the, the total amount is that would have had a, a little impact, but not much, because you know when you have over a thousand people, that would have been you know just kind of a nice thing. In fact, you would have houses of that magnitude being built because there was still more open land. So that happened fairly frequently. But now that we're down to some people say we're under three hundred now, mm -hmm. a project that adds twenty units is significant. It really is, and, and it's a difference maker. 
And so I, I think it's also extremely important uh, that we emphasize that something that like that is, is it make, will make a difference in, in, yeah. in this village. You know, it's not, and the design it's not is, so it's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. I mean, it, they obviously worked really hard to fit it in to where it belongs. And they adapted it and they adapted the landscape sure to, yep. to, to yep. Like it is just the neighbors. Lovely. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's also interesting back before uh, people started moving up into the into the village center. I remember growing up and I never heard one darn word of some of the residents about worrying about density in the center of Northeast Harbor. So and the kids rode bikes and that and those things too. So you know there were more there were there were many more people to have accidents on bicycles you know 50 years ago than there are now. That's a hard walk. So anyway, good. Well, I'm, I'm glad of that, and I'm, we certainly have to. No, we haven't yet. <laughs> to convey a very strong message. All in favor. Thank, Thank you, you, darling. Thank You're you, welcome. darling. Thank you. Um, I just have a question, and I don't know who would know this, but does do members of the town of Mount Desert have to register for the hazardous waste disposal project for this weekend, no, or do we it's, just? It's encouraged to register. Okay. But don't take it. Okay. Yeah. I'm a big stock law. No, 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 no residents are going to be turned away when they register. Okay. You, you, can, you can register. It's helpful. And what time is it? It's 10 to 2. And do we register on the Town of Mount Desert website? There's a I The only one I saw was for Bar Harbor residents, so I just wasn't sure. They do have the Bar Yeah. Harbor. Okay. Yes. But it's helpful to know the numbers. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Other residents can also let us know. I believe Jennifer posted something on the home page of the website. Perfect. Thank you. I'll look at that too. Okay. Any more select board reports? No. Lots more. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unfinished business. Discussion of the town manager's audit brief memo. Good. Did you all get a chance to read it? Yep. And is uh, anybody willing to serve on the delegation that goes to the park on October 7th? I wish I could, but I'm going to be out of town that day. Are you? Is it a get back till late? Yeah, afternoon? it's a weekday. It's at uh, 10 30. Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. seventh. I'll be working. You'll be working. Okay. Well, Dorbine and I will go. Uh, I'm hoping I'm that sorry. this. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. I'm hoping it will be the first of many many of these meetings because I think you know it's it's an important process and I'm very happy that the park officials have been you know willing to to, to sit down and discuss those uh, you know again I think your resolution is important and it's it's obvious as the old saying goes that the moral arc of the universe bends towards justice and that's all this is really about is Justice for the town of Mount Desert, justice for the village of Otter Creek, and justice for the people that live in there. And so I, I think it's emphasize, I wanted to make emphasize on that that even if it's one that's going to be a long and difficult process, and I'm hoping some of these things we're going to be able to do without legislation, but I think it's important not to just accept the fact that. If somebody says, well, we can't do it because here's what the, what the park rules and laws and regulations say, so we can't do that. I don't think that's an answer that we should be prepared to take. We should be prepared to say that we've got to work to change those regulations. So I, they and there were some glimmers of light at Scudic. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I'd be willing to, to serve on that delegation. Good. However, I can't speak to my availability for all the meetings. Right. So if you if you would be appointed, then I'll keep making you aware of everything. That would be good. I, I, if you could make that a meeting in the afternoon, I could probably make it. Yeah, I think it was hard to get oh, everyone okay. together. There's like five people from the oh, okay. What time is it? 10 30. Sort of like herding cats. What do you think the long meeting is? It's until noon. 10 30. I mean, I, 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 I mean, it would make sense for me to be on that, having lived in our career sure. for 30 years. Sure. And we, can five we can have more than one. I mean, we've got yeah. five people from the I, park. Why don't you sign me up for that? Okay. You can one, one thing I have done, Daryl, um, unofficially, is reach out to uh, NASA 
last year. We supported their formation. We gave them a thousand dollars to get them up and running. Oh yeah, and they have expanded hugely up and down the coast of Maine and into New Hampshire and Massachusetts now. Um, that's the New England Fisheries Sustainability right. Association. Yes, very important organization. And they are very much attuned to um, the working waterfront and the protection of it uh, and maintaining of it. So I told them to just stand by, but uh, it's good to know that we can have support from organizations such as theirs. Good. And that uh, if we can brainstorm and collaborate ways to move this issue forward, then yes. the more the merrier. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, you decide whether you think it, I'd be more of a liability. I, mean, I don't think any of you would be no. a liability. Right. Everyone would be an asset. And I don't think we necessarily have to confine it to one. Like I said, mm -hmm. if you've got five park officials, there's only two of us. It'd be nice to have three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's. Why don't we just make it that the members, the future members of the board that are able to make these meetings, would be willing to attend. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Great. It just happens to yeah. be a bad time. Great. That's good. That'd yeah, be wonderful. Yeah, because it, sometimes we might get one. Sometimes we might get three. Good. And there may be there are many ways to skin a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading again that book. Is it sweet? The working water from the water creek. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's really an interesting, which I think I'll bring up to the park on, on that meeting. There's a really interesting thing is that when when that whole process of, of uh, taking over that land was, that a lot of people underestimated the value of that harbor to the residents of Otter Creek because even at the time there were there were some fish houses and there were some wharves, but to the naked eye, it has still appeared very wild down in that area. Unlike if you come down here to this harbor or Seal Harbor, it's very developed. So what they didn't realize was the people, because of those steep bluffs, the people all lived up above. They didn't live right down on the water, but they used the trails to commute down to it. So they, they thought that some of the people, maybe even Rockefeller himself, underestimated how valuable that land was to the community. And so what I was thinking about what we're asking for in this resolution <laughs> is that really nothing visibly would really change above and beyond what it is right now. I mean, you've already got a landing area down there. Um, Except probably for that causeway. Yeah. But what that what, really impedes the ingress and egress of the harbor. Exactly. And no, yep. one, no one anticipated, I think, in 1920 that that was going to be the result. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but you know, if you if you look at that and you look at the tidal volume volume that's left at dead low tide, yeah, that there's a there's a pool in there that sits, and it may have been constructed that way to retain as much heated water as possible. Mm. Cool. So that yeah. whole lip that runs up to the causeway is is very likely been built up and engineered that way so that because there's no way you're getting a you're getting a, a clipper out of there to oh, load it up with granite. At high tide you can get a aluminum boat at yeah. the back. So I think I think some work was done there to make that to retain more of that tide of blow. Perhaps, yeah. If we can figure a way to, to uh, untether that to a certain extent. But you know it's also important that if we talk about the trails like the the quarry path, and if you allow more access to people being able to take, like perhaps small recreational vehicles to to haul stuff down there, people wouldn't even see that because that's those are all hidden. So the visual impact or the economic or the uh, the impact to, to the park mission would be really not impeded at all by doing these sorts of things, but they're very important to actually making that a legitimately working waterfront. So I think we can have have the best of both worlds. The park wouldn't notice any huge differences, but it'd be a lot of big differences to people that really want to try to do some activities down there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's really important that we that we continue <laughs> on it. And we just insist that they say, well, the rules and regulations don't permit. That's not the end of the story. So when we start to work as hard as we can to get those rules and regulations modified. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, good. That's that's all. Let's just say on that. Yep. Yeah. 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 Tiny times ahead. 
Yes. I, I just, I love to see you as energized as you've been since this began. So uh, <laughs> it's it's great. You keep going. Well, you know, keep going for a while. Not that, not that we didn't think you would have liked the party. <laughs> no, but this has been this has been a project that you've really taken on with 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 vigor. Know, with vigor, yeah. yeah. And I really, it's it's uh, well, it's, it's, you know, it, it's become sort of a mission. I yeah, think, you well, know. good. I really would like to see in some capacity, even if I'm not in this particular seat, I'd still like to have some some absolutely some. Uh, Ability to try to influence that if I could. Perhaps we can cut a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even asking for it to be paid. <laughs> no, right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I'm glad to be re energized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, review and approve of authorizing public works director on behalf of the town to enter into two agreements with Solar Logic for the installation of a photo photo photovoltaic system on the Somesville Fire Station and a photovoltaic system on the Northeast Harbor Wastewater Treatment Plant in the amounts not to exceed uh, $154,000 $99,900 respectively. Second. Second. All in favor. Thank you. New business, public space special event application, Seal Harbor Library Fair, August 9th, 2025, Seal Harbor Village Green. Roll approval. Second. <laughs> Blair over. Huh? Okay, all in favor. <laughs> Consider adjusting the Northeast Harbor Marina rate for vessels less than 49 feet to $3.45 $3 per foot and rate for vessels 50, uh, less than for between 50 and 60 feet to $3.95 per foot, and the rate for vessels 60 to 99 feet to $4.45 per foot, and the rate for vessels 100 feet and over to $5.15 per foot. I'll move it. I'll second it. Is this in keeping with the um, local prices? <clears throat> yeah. This is. This keeps us underneath our really our only competitor, which is Great Harbor Marina. Okay, oh, awesome, thank you. Right, and it was unanimously approved by the Harbor Committee. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And it was, yes. Motion, second. It was already. All, all in favor? Thank you. Consider adjusting the Northeast Harbor Marina rate to $20 for 30 amps, $31 for 50 amps, and $60 for 100 amps service per day for summer electricity starting May 15th, 2023. Is that a type? Uh, so, yeah. Starting May 15th, 2025? Yes, it is. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know okay. if that's my typo or Claire's, but it is a typo. <laughs> I saw that. I was going to try to... So now we know it's yours, John. <laughs> Move authorization. Second. Good. All in favor. Thank you. Request authorization for ten thousand five hundred thirty-two dollars in historic preservation account number one two two zero two two zero dash five seven eight zero zero for the preservation and imaging of town documents. Move authorization. Second. Second. Claire, are we near the end of this tunnel? I hope so, but um. I found another whole box of um, some other town meeting stuff that I have to go through and okay. see about that. But these are a lot of the really old books that are about 200 years old. Okay. So I Great. think we're almost done with the old books. Okay, thank you. All in favor. Consider is it consideration to release up to do $9,800 from the fire equipment reserve account 4040300-24471 and authorize the fire chief to use such funds for the purpose of purchasing structural firefighting gear. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? I just oh. have a question. Is it typical to get to? Yes. We we now any interior qualified firefighter gets two cents a gear. So when they trash one, it's an opportunity to clean it, dry it, and they're still in service. That encourages them to keep their gear clean. And this is just that looks so stupid on my part. But are they specific to each person? 
pretty much size like sizes. Yeah, yeah. and there's little differences. Some of them will order a pocket here, some of them won't order like a ring pocket, some of them will this size, some of them won't. Basically, it's the same gear. But if this person say leaves in three months, the gear stays here. Gear stays here. Um, sometimes we can find somebody to fit it. And sometimes we <laughs> put it on the shelf for a few weeks. Okay. But it does. It belongs to the stays here. Okay. Yeah. Can we confirm the release up to amount? Nine thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah, there are some extra pennies there. Couple, couple of sets. No, yeah, couple of sets. Of yes. Yes. <laughs> Very high, high precision. Thank you, honey. Yeah. All right. I do have a question, Mike. Yeah. Our phone that we use is there a fee fastener? No, we don't. We we only carry uh, class A phone, which is basically uh, uh, highly concentrated non friction, but we don't carry a box phone that to play that. Okay, but we used to. <laughs> Yeah, we used to. We got rid of it. I think it's about ten years ago through a universal as is. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's good. Yeah, we'll keep us coming. Yeah. Our support books. Good. Okay. All in favor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any public comments? From the enormous audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other business? All right, let's let's approve these ones. Okay, approval and signature ten invoice AP twenty five nineteen in the amount of two million eight hundred twenty three thousand six hundred forty one dollars and eleven cents. Approval, approval and signature second. With all in favor. Uh, approval and signature state fees and payroll benefits AP twenty five seventeen AP twenty five eighteen and town payroll PR twenty five zero six. In the amount of two hundred and seventy-five thousand six hundred and eighty-three dollars and ninety-six cents. Full approval. Second. All in favor. One abstention. Acknowledgement. School invoice AP03. School payroll PR06. Uh, avoided disbursements none in the amount of two thousand four two hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred and seven dollars and thirty-five cents. Full acknowledgement. Second. All in favor. Okay. Adjourn. No move. Second. All in favor. Thank you.